Hello and welcome to the short Vord on Parshas Va'era. This week's short Vord is dedicated to Eloi Nishmas of Imori, Naftali ben Yitzhak Isaac. In Perak Zion, Pusik Tess, Hashem commands Moshe Rabbeinu to tell Aaron, his brother, to impress Paro by taking Aaron's staff and converting it into a snake. The commentators ask, Egypt is the capital of Magistry, or whatever you call the people who do magic. Even their five and six year olds know Magic 101, how to turn a staff into a snake. So, how is this supposed to impress? What is the purpose of this trick? So, the Gon Reb Yitzchak Zundel Salant, the main Rebbe of Reb Yisrael Salant, in his Sefer Be'er Yosef. He explains what we can learn from here for what the purpose of this trick was. It's not about Hashem being able to change nature. What it's about is to give a message, an allusion to Paro and his henchmen about what they are doing wrong. The Rambam, Maimonides, he says, why were the Egyptians punished for making the Jews suffer? In the Brisbane of Basarim, Hashem told Avram Avinu, your descendants are going to go into a land that's not theirs, theirs, they're going to work, they're going to suffer. So that's what happened with the Egyptians. So the Ravid, in his commentary, gives an answer. He says, yes, we were commanded, it's supposed to be Inu Osam, we were going to suffer. But the Egyptians went beyond that. They did beforech, they did with the harsh and back-breaking work. They killed Jews. They they threw them into the into the sea. They went beyond the commandment of what they were supposed to do. And we see a reference to this by what the trick that Aaron did. You know, when a, a, a stick is used to strike someone, it doesn't ordinarily go beyond what the intention of the striker is. Hashem, in this case, was the striker. They should, it's, the stick stays with the, the intent of Hashem. But the snake, the snake is very evil. The snake is an animal where it says in the future that the Hashem will gather the different animals with the snake and they'll say, all right, the wolf it tears apart its prey, but it eats the, uh, the prey. The lion chases it and destroys its prey, but it eats the prey. It gets a benefit from, from the destruction that it, it causes and the suffering that it causes. But the snake, when it bites, it doesn't eat it, it doesn't get any benefit. So therefore, the snake is really bad. And that's the message that we're getting here with the Mata. The Egyptians were supposed to be the Mata of Hashem. They were supposed to be Hashem's striking utensil. But they went beyond what Hashem desired. And for that, they were punished. And they were like the, the snake. The snake didn't get any benefit from what it did. It says that they built the city, the Jews built the cities of Pisom and Ramses. Pisom is key to home that the, the deaths would consume, the would swallow up what they built. It was like quicksand. They built and built, but nothing stayed. That's for no purpose. There's no benefit, not for the Jews, not for the Egyptians. Ram says, says Rishon, Rishon, Mismoseis, Mismotate. One by one, it dissolved and, they, and, and collapsed. Again, there's no benefit. And that's what Hashem's message with the uh, with this turning the staff, the mate, into a, a snake. It's not about the changing of nature, but a demonstrating to the Egyptians the sin that they did and why they'll be punished. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week. Like, share, and subscribe. Good job.